no one really thought that they would take your rabbit guns and your duck guns. That just couldn't happen. It was an impossibility. If you're one of those people who bought a gun for the first time during the pandemic and still want to vote for Joe Biden, this video is for you. Joe Biden put this post up on his Instagram page. A lot of you pandemic first time gun buyers bought AR-15s to protect your family. Understand when Joe says assault weapon, he's not talking about machine guns. Those are already restricted. He's talking about AR-15s, like the ones that you just bought to protect your family during all of this chaos and the chaos that is sure to get worse during and after these elections. You don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim, it's harder to use, and in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Oh, and I almost forgot. With that assault weapon ban comes a high capacity magazine ban. So all of you pandemic gun buyers out there who bought handguns that have magazines that hold more than 10 rounds, those will be banned too. This means that when criminals take advantage of the rioting and chaos that is sure to come after and during the election, you can only have 10 bullets in your gun while the criminals run around with as many bullets as they want. It's time to wake up, people. Joe Biden has been a politician his entire working life. All he's ever known is the control of people through politics. He's not trying to save lives. He's trying to make you dependent on his control. The violence is skyrocketing in some cities, and there are literally cities talking about getting rid of the police, while riots and violent protests are breaking out across the country every day. They let a group of degenerate misfits take over an entire section of Seattle where the police weren't allowed to go. And Joe Biden is trying to ban the most popular rifle in America and the thing you need to protect your family and the people you love when you can no longer rely on the police. But let's just pretend that the goal here is to really save lives. AR-15s are used in less than 1% of gun deaths in this country. So what do you think happens next when they pass this assault weapons ban and nothing changes because AR-15s are used in less than 1% of gun deaths? They'll be coming for the handguns. These aren't new tactics. Hitler did the same thing in Germany, along with Australia, Canada, and the entirety of the UK. They start small and then use every incident of a major shooting to push for more gun control until they're all banned. No one really thought that they would take your rabbit guns and your duck guns. That just couldn't happen. It was an impossibility. We thought no one would ever do anything to us. Um, we were wrong. Too bloody late now. Once the guns are gone, you're not going to get them back. Gun owners were shamed into silence while politicians and the anti-gun forces moved swiftly, turning two tragic shootings into legislative opportunities. In Great Britain, a total ban on handguns. Within a year, storage rooms at police departments were filled with firearms. No matter how valuable or how rare, they were turned in by law-abiding citizens to be destroyed. The main thing that's been destroyed in the UK is democracy. In Australia, it took just two weeks for an outright ban on all semi-automatic firearms and pump-action shotguns to become law. Firearms are part of traditions passed down through generations, and the vast majority of gun owners use them safely, responsibly, and in accordance with the law, whether it be for work, sport shooting, for collecting, or for hunting. But you don't need an AR-15 to bring down a deer. So, effective immediately, it is no longer permitted to buy, sell, transport, import, or use military-grade assault weapons in this country. Understand, there is no let's try it and see what happens. Once you lose rights, you don't get them back. Look at the state of the country right now. No matter how you feel about the Democrats or Republicans, the thing that matters the most is your ability to defend yourself and the people you love in the oncoming chaos. 2020 has proven that you can't depend on the government for your safety because when the lights go out and the fires start, you're on your own. So do yourself, your family, and the people that you love a favor and not give up your rights to a man who doesn't even know where he is half the time. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Tuesday, and I want to thank you all. I tell you what, I'm rushing ahead, aren't I? 150 million people 
have been killed since 2007 when Bernie voted to exempt the gun manufacturers from liability. It would put 720 million back, million women back in the workforce. Nobody should be in jail for a nonviolent crime. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. What's not to like about Vermont in terms of the beauty of it? And what a neat town. Play the radio. Make sure the television, the, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on at night. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. We choose science over fiction. We choose truth over facts. Think about it. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the, go, you know the, you know the thing. It's getting passed, getting moved, get, getting control of the Paris Climate Accord. I'm the guy that came back after meeting with Deng Xiaoping and making the case that I believe China would join if we put pressure on them. You had people like Margaret Thatcher, oh, excuse me, you had people like the, the former chairman and leader of the party in, the, in Germany. Go to Joe 3033. No, I haven't taken the test. Why the hell would I take a test? Come on, man. That's like saying you, before you got in this program, if you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not, what do you think, huh? Are, are you a junkie? What do you and by the way, as I joke with them, you know, it, I, I shouldn't say it. I'm going to say something I don't, I, I probably shouldn't say. I am very willing to let the American public judge my physical and mental, fil my physical as well as my mental fil fitness. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Kingswood Community Center. Actually, that's the one down I used to work. It's a joke. You didn't know where we were anyway. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and clicking the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia. I lost all my guns in a boating accident and your state specific Keep America Tactical shirt. Click the link next to my head or the link in the description section. Or if you're watching this on a mobile device, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description.